this is your rear suspension you can see that there's basically a bolt down here and then a bolt up top there inside the car somewhere so all this is gonna come out okay so this is your trunk top of your strut. I'm gonna remove this cap and see where I want to where I want to try to reach it the nut to take it off. And there is an opening into the interior of the car and then there's also I'm in the trunk right now so so there is no real good way to film this while I'm in there so I'll just show you first this is the nut that needs to come off the strut is below this and the top of this so to say bolt top of this thread is what I'm gonna hold on to with pliers it has flat sides uh... and so next we take out the bolt right over here at the bottom of the strut This is a trick that I use often. Um, instead of having to hold one wrench and working with the other wrench, I just find something to prop one of the wrenches against, and then it sort of just autopilots. It just it's just propped against. Well, not this actually in this case, but right there. So I don't have to hold it. It helps when. Um, if you kind of need to put all your force on one of the wrenches, if you're not super strong and you need to hold on to the other wrench with both of your hands, then just because the new part that came in is made by some good people whose arms grow out of their asses so it doesn't fit so as you can see here um, I mean it's it all is supposed to go on snugly you know but this is the top rubber that will be after on after the boot the boot will be on and then this rubber is on and well clearly this piece is just like hello just not doing anything on there
And so one interesting detail that I'm going to show you is every shock is a little bit different. And you can see that this bill stain actually has its own little, I don't know what you call it, like a little ring stopper. So I noticed it because the old boot that I'm reusing it had this ring sit inside here but well the ring doesn't fit anymore the, the ring used to fit on the old strap but it doesn't fit on the new bill stain because it has this right here and so this actually replaces the little ring from the original boot there's a little groove here and that's where that uh, stopper fits so just like this and then once it sits there since on there it doesn't go anywhere While the strut was out, I took the chance and cleaned and wax coated the spot on the body so that it doesn't rust in the future. Just a quick side note, um, this bolt that lives here, um, if you are going to be replacing it, you do have to make sure that you get a specific uh, suspension hardness steel bolt because, you, in other words, you can't just replace it with any bolt because this one is, uh, on the cap it says 10.9 hardness so this is suspension grade bolt and nut and I'm going to show you the finished book And please guys don't forget to torque this bolt at 16 newton meters or uh, 43 pound torque. Mom, I'm recording a YouTube video.